back with another book recommendation. So I want to talk about We Are Latina. And this is a book that comes from Cultura Clásica. There's their logo down there. And Cultura Clásica also put out this wonderful book, Alexandros, which uh, I've uh, talked about in other places, as well as a lot of other things. So Cultura Clásica is doing uh, some great things, adding to the pedagogical textbooks that we have for Latin and ancient Greek, which is wonderful. So we have this, and this teaches Latin from the beginning. Now, uh, what the case is with all of these books is something... I think very interesting. I am obviously a fan of Lingua Latina per Cero Strata, the whole series. I mean, they're they're all here, <laughs> all of them. And um, also, I, I do think it's an outstanding way to learn Latin and works really great for autodidacts. So if there is a silver bullet for learning Latin, or at least if, if I have given that opinion, which I, I think I have, then what is something like this for? Well, number one, not everybody likes Familia Romana, and that's fine. And there exist now, thanks to Cultura Classica and other people who are making books, wonderful alternatives in addition to that. Moreover, if you're using Familia Romana, um, there are sticking points in that book. As great as it is, as much as I esteem it as a pedagogical tool, there's sometimes you just need to have other things or explained in a different way or in a different context. And that happens with all kinds of textbooks. It happens especially for ancient Greek, I think, which is why I tend to advocate multiple books. Um, even, for example, uh, Athena's A, for ex uh, I, which I've used um, for a long time, as well as uh, other books for ancient Greek, I tend to think that for English speakers, it's best to use both the UK version and the Italy version. So that kind of thing. Like, you, you can't even stay within the same series and keep the same language uh, for, for some things like ancient Greek. So a little bit easier with Latin, especially with the Lingua Latina per se illustrata series. Or with something like this. So what is this and what is it for? Now, it is beautifully illustrated to start off. Absolutely looks great. Um, and uh, I love the uh, the charm and the the beauty of it. So what is this, this doing then? It is essentially, what I say this is beginner. For autodidacts, no, but in a classroom setting, absolutely beginner to intermediate level, it can be outstanding, a really, really outstanding tool for teachers because it explains everything, including the grammar, all in Latin, similar to Familia Romana, but with many more uh, explanations. The exercises are a little, little bit more integrated into the stories that it tells. The stories, oh, look at that. Look how gorgeous this is. It's just absolutely beautiful. All right, here, for example, we can see in the margin mors as the opposite of vita, so kierka, round in a circle. And the cupure, oh, the dog, he wants the bone. You know, these things, lex, legis, uh, we are used to, so law and justice. So things come through pretty, oh, look, look at the curia. That looks beautiful, it looks just like the curia. And um, the uh, the uh, reges latini. So just let's just look at a little bit of a sample here. So mors romoli romam turbat, urb sine rege erat, et milite sine duce, atque multiotes circa urbem habitavant, eamque obugnavant. Now, if you're familiar with the familia Familia Romana series, you're not going to even get that stuff until the first, maybe the chapter five or six of the, essentially the high intermediate to advanced material in Roma Eterna. So that, and Roma Eterna is notorious for being a very challenging book, but here we're able to learn about the, um, these, these legends, these, uh, these parts of the, the Roman story. I, I, uh, not sure I want to call it history because, you know, it's so legendary. We don't know uh, too many facts about it. But there are uh, so many things that we can get a handle on at a much more elementary level. Here's another sample. So, reges etruski. Atque tulia coque, filia rege servi, et uxor tarquini, femina ferox, virum sum audacem turbabat, atque datrox celus eoninquidabat. Beautiful. So, it's beautifully written. It's simply written. Uh, something that's written simply is an outstanding way to augment our learning. So one could introduce many of these stories and pieces you in another curriculum. You could be, who knows, you could be using Wheelock. Actually, I have Wheelock. Do you want to see it? It's my Wheelock from forever ago. It's right here. Here's my Wheelock from, I think, 04. <laughs> and I want to start learning them. So you could be using with any kind of course that that you want, or it could be the whole course. So if you're a fluent Latin speaker and a teacher, this might be great. Familia Romana is absolutely wonderful. Um, and obviously I, I advocate it so much, but it 
obviously isn't good for every single possible classroom situation. Sometimes something like this will be better for students. It could be more accessible for different ages. It really it depends. And maybe you don't have as many hours in the day as a teacher, for, because you know, this you can see it's, you know, it's a, this is going to get you pretty far. If you have a teacher who already knows Latin and can read all the grammatical instructions, all the grammar is written, this is monolingual. It's all in Latin, which is great. Like a foreign language textbook probably should be for the most part. But Familia Romana is a huge commitment. And I firmly believe that you need to do the exercitia for most people. They're going to get the most out of Familia Romana with exercitia. That's the volume to exercitia. But, but this is all uh, integrated. And uh, so it improves on that aspect of that course of the lingua latina per se illustrata introductory course so uh, is also can this work for autodidacts yes if you already have uh, gotten to maybe like um to use like the european scale a1 a2 b1 b2 if you're like towards an a2 reading level uh, you can definitely get a lot out of this because you can understand a lot of the the grammar here for example here's how it starts ecce la rentia la rentia feminast la rentia in italia habitat a femina italized. Now, I am saying this is not necessarily for raw beginners, unless you already speak Spanish or Italian. Now, I'm obviously not a native speaker of it either, um, but with something like that, it may be easy enough to figure out what's going on, especially with a map and so forth, and to get a lot out of context. Something like Familia Romana leaves very little to one's imagination in the sense of it explains pretty much everything, and it doesn't force the student to try to figure out too many things. But also, it's super easy for people who already know Romance language very well. And that's one of its advantages, because a lot of people have some Romance language experience, especially if they're English speakers. We usually learn some French or Spanish or Italian at some point. Um, so that helps. But th so this definitely is uh, in Cultura Clásica. It's in Spain, so they're, they're thinking about their audience. And there is a huge number of Spanish speakers in the world, uh, and obviously Italians as well, who can pick something up like this. Oh yeah, no, let's not forget, of course, Portuguese speakers, many millions of them as well. So something like this may be yet more accessible than it would be for Anglophones, English speakers, or uh, for uh, German speakers. So that is uh, what I think. I think it's a wonderful book. I think it's designed to do exactly what it uh, it does. I think it does it very well. Methodus et via quibus ultimur linguae usu mituntur, lingua in latina, latine explanatur. Et est instrumentum co a facilimis orsi pedetenti a difficiliora transiamus. So that is this, uh, this summary. I love this book. I do recommend it. It may be for you as well if you're an autodidact, supplementary, at least if you, if you, ha don't, if you have some Latin knowledge, you can probably pick this up and maybe really enjoy it. If you're working with something else like Huilac or Familia Romana and you want something to kind of get you through some sticking points, it's very enjoyable and well-written. It does that. And for teachers who speak Latin in the classroom and want, and want an alternative, this may be the thing you're looking for. So thanks for watching. If you want to purchase this, I have put the link in the description. Walete.